All right, next news is in Bihar, a man accidentally beheads himself during Muharram procession while showcasing his swordsmanship. Um, so this was a story that, I mean, I think I'm going to need your help with. What exactly is a Muharram procession? This is in, uh, for Ashura. By the way, this ho sword, th this is a Shia thing, but I, in Iran, they don't allow people to hurt themselves with swords and stuff. But you can see Shias outside of Iran doing themselves uh, doing this and hurting themselves this is a uh, for what was this at ashura yeah it was mm -hmm. and i think that you know uh, it, well this is for um hussein and i don't want to get into th theological like the story of what they're doing this is because of the murder of prophet muhammad's grandchild this is sony's really hate this by the way this is just a shia part of islam but anyways you're supposed to hurt yourself you're supposed to draw blood but i don't know like i've seen people do it and they just like i don't like cut their head a little bit here and the by the way people, the people on podcast can't see but you basically make a small cut on your head or you like make cuts on your back but I, i've never seen anybody go as intense of try like how would you accidentally behead yourself i don't understand Did, have you guys seen a video or something of it i have not i uh, yeah i have not seen the video but he accidentally struck himself on the neck and ends up beheading himself i mean that is Wait, that's beheading not just, like, as in little... completely cut your head from your like separate your head from your body like how how did you how did you so there are different there are different levels of beheading but it typically it's called a beheading if it's at least halfway uh, uh knocked off so right they're so, calling it a beheading so because okay so the um prophet muhammad's grandchild was killed in a battle in a very very brutal way allegedly and she has she has I, they deny this, but they rever, revere Hussein more than Muhammad himself, more than God himself, to be honest. I know, and I know they would deny this. So the killing of Hussein is like a major part of the Shia identity. For people that don't know, Shiism is a sect of Islam, the, right after Sunnism. I don't know how basic I need to... I'm, I'm assuming most people in the live chat know this. Uh, but again, so this, this, this whole these ceremonies for Shias is again they deny this as well it's more important than going to the Hajj right uh, but again in Iran you're not uh, this you hurt yourself because you're supposed to remember uh, Hussein's pain during that battle but in Iran dry, you know drying blood is illegal you're supposed to just hit your chest um hard and but no blood but in other places I mean in Iran also some people still do draw blood but Ill illegally but in other places they're really obsessed with somehow like having blood all over all over the place shias outside of iran actually criticize shias inside of iran they said like how how weak that you have to be with when hussein gives so much blood for us you're not even you're afraid of giving a few blood for hussein hussein is kind of like jesus for shias like he kind of died for their the sins of a, uh, some Muslims, something like that, uh, and he, uh, the way Jesus died to save the world, Hussein died to save Islam. So, anyways, I don't want to get into too much detail, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping people are not celebrating. Like, I'm hoping people are not happy about this that somebody behead themselves because what atheists sometimes do is because they're, you know, we it's good to mock religion and attack religion. But it's not really good to celebrate somebody hurting themselves. Like, no matter how stupid these people are, you know, beheading yourself is not really something that you deserve for your stupidity. And I'm pretty sure, like, like Darwin Award, like, I, as expected, like, people are saying, oh, Darwin, and the Darwin Award goes to, and then the second top comment, also Darwin Award for 2019. Um, Brandon is pointing out that he was rushed to the nearby hospital, but the doctors declared him dead on arrival. Um, actually, what the hell? Yeah, so that he wasn't beheaded. Like, if he was, if his head connect was co disconnected completely from his body, I don't think people would take him to the hospital. Well, the thing is, is you can halfway saw through your head and it's still called a beheading. Mm. So if, if, you know, he had a huge chunk just... And then they wouldn't really be able to tell because while his head is still technically connected, 
um, you know, unless they pull it apart to see how far it went in there, they wouldn't be able to see how bad the cut was. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, but that, people shouldn't be happy about this, okay? Like, you, people think, like, oh, it's a religion, this is funny, stupidity, pay, you know, you, you get, you got what you deserve because you're stupid. But honestly, if you think people deserve to be beheaded because they're stupid, then there's something wrong with you, right? Yeah, I think that's, yeah. that's messed up. That's messed up. And again, we point these out because in our like people celebrate people being beheaded or getting hurt because they're religious. We point these out in our atheist community and even in the atheist republic community, just so that people who think that oh atheists are smart or um, you know kind and enlightened, you know, we want to also fight that myth as well. So we we when this happens in our own community, we don't shy away from it. We show it. Um, Shobham, did you want to add anything? Uh, well, uh, the only thing I want to say is like, it's not really very practical to beard yourself. I, I mean, I don't know how it's possible because after after reading this article, I was crying with a stick. I was recklessly, uh, recklessly like crying with a stick and the stick never came anywhere near my neck. So I don't know. Wait, what? How can one... I was I was like crying with a stick. How can one beard oneself? Like, yeah, I don't know. And yeah. then the stick never came anywhere near my neck. What? So I don't know how the sword came like that. I don't know what you were doing. It's easy to bring a stick close to your neck, but and it, but yeah, I don't. I can't imagine how hard could you hit your own neck with a sword. That's a. Why would you do that? Like, what were you aiming at? I, I Maybe was, it was like a you know Michonne sword from The Walking Dead. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.